Hello and welcome to video number four in our Kipware Conversational Series. In this video we're going to take all the cycles that we created through the previous videos and we're going to make them into one big program that we can send to the machine. Uh, so right now the cycles don't have any tools or anything associated with them. Uh, so what we're going to do through the main program option is uh, associate those cycles to tools and then we're going to create the complete G code that we can send to the machine. Now you can look at any one of these G code pro these cycle G codes just by clicking the editor and clicking the cycle. But this is just the, the uh, G code for that particular operation. And what we want to do is we want to create a main program that's going to have uh, tool change calls. Uh, it's going to have all the cycles associated with the tools uh, so that we can create one program that we can send to the machine. You can see that I gave the program a name of test program. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the create main program option. You can see all my cycles are highlighted or actually in the tree and I can associate any one of those cycles to a tool that I specify through the operation list. And these don't have to be in any particular order as you'll see when we create the program. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to say I want operation number one. I'm going to use tool number one. I'm going to use a work offset of G54. I don't need to input an RPM because it's already in all of the programs. Uh, so what I'm going to do is just basically give it a height offset of one and a clearance plane of two inches. And the clearance plane is just before it picks up the cycle and does what the cycle wants to do. Uh, we want to wrap it down to the part, use the height offset, and then it's going to do is grab the cycle and go through the part. So what I'm going to do now is, uh, you can see we can double click to remove, we can double click to add a program to associate with this tool. So I've got tool number one, uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to say that first thing I want to do, I want to face the part with tool number one. So basically I just double click the, the cycle from the tree and it automatically went and got associated with this with this tool. And you can see that I can have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of the cycles associated with this tool. So if I was to say that I wanted to do the qualify stock with this tool too, what will happen when it creates the program is it would go through all of the uh, operation to face the part. Then it would grab the program to qualify the stock and execute that part of the G code too. So uh, even though I've got separate cycles in here, I can do multiple cycles with one tool if I want. In this case, we don't want to do this. They're going to be different size tools, so I'm going to remove this from the list. So operation one is going to be our square rectangular facing. Operation number two is going to be tool number two, G54, height offset two, and what I'm going to do there is I'm going to qualify the stock. Operation number three, tool number three, height offset number three, and then I'm going to spot my bold circle. Operation number four, tool number four, G54, height offset four, and then I'm going to drill my bold circle. So now I have all my operations. We're starting with operation number one is going to face it. Operation number two is going to qualify the stock. Operation number three is spot drill. And operation number four is drill. What I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a program number. I have my post selected. And we'll talk about the posts in another one of the videos. And then I'm going to hit the create G code. Now what happens is the software goes through with my post. In this case, it put in a startup block. It got tool number one, MO6, and it took the square rectangular facing program that I had in there and put it all the G code in here. Tool number two, it took the qualify the stock, and you can see that it's labeled qualify the stock. This is the roughing pass. Here's the finishing pass. Then tool number three is the spot drill, and tool number four is the drill. So what we did with the create main program function in Kipware Conversational is we associated any cycle that we created with a tool call. And again, you could have the tool doing multiple operations. In this case, each tool is doing just one operation. Uh, but it creates the complete G code program. And now what I can do is I can save this program, send it to the machine, and now I've got my complete machining program that I created uh, in Kipware Conversational. And one of the things that we can do is we can save this program. 
So I'm going to save the test program with Save Successfully. If I was to close the software out and open it up again, and now everything is blank, the software's just started, what I can do is I can go and get that program, test program, and you can see all my cycles come back in. Everything that I did in that program, if I look at my operations, operation number one, two, three, four, all that information came back in. If I had gone out to the floor and ran the part and then said uh, I want to make some change, let's say I want to spot drill it a little bit deeper. What I can do is I can open up the bolt circle cycle. And again, everything that I did when I created that cycle is here. Uh, I can go a little bit deeper. Let's say I want to go minus uh, 300 thousandths. Hit create program. Bolt cycle's been updated. Come back to my create main program, but there isn't anything I need to change in here. I can just create the G-code again. And now if I take a look at my spot drilling cycle, you can see here that we've gone down 300 thousandths. So very easy if you go out into the floor and you need to make a change. Very easy to bring the program back into Kipware Conversational. You can do all your editing through the conversational menus. No need to look at the G-code unless you want to look at the G-code. And you can very easily make any change, create a new program, add a cycle. Let's say you wanted to add something else to this program. You could add the cycle through the conversational menu where you could go back and get something that you created at uh, another time, bring it into the program, and then create a whole new program. Very easy to go back and forth without having to look at the G-code unless you want to look at the G-code. When we come back for video number five, we're going to show you a little bit about the sketch pad. So not every shape is a standard shape. Uh, sometimes those shapes can be different kind of contours and you may need to do that uh, through a CAD-like program which the sketch pad will do. And we'll show you a little bit about the sketch pad in video number five. Thanks again.